begin this new season, the season of Advent. And we give praise and thanks and prepare for the coming of the Lord. And our opening song is number 220, O Lord of Light. And the new missalettes that we have for this time of the year, so 220.
You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, your name forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. O oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains, quaking before you. While you wrought some awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carried us, carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us, and you have delivered us up to your guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. And first 
first of all, it means that we need to be on God's way. I don't my little children's uh, talk today. Again, remind us that we love to be gathering with children at this time up front. But again, even though you can't see it, you can probably zoom in. You can see it online. Again, first is the orange sign. And this week, as I headed out on a Thursday morning, late like back, I realized I can't go the same way. The road is blocked. There's a detour. So, okay, I can go the other way. And in that time, I had to chuckle because I could either say, "Oh, it's be late." I could be frustrated. Or can they use it as a time of prayer? Because life throws us many detours. As you say, it's 2020, and the time of detours to the way we live our lives with this pandemic. There's again so many changes. Life has been detoured. But it's always that pathway in life. We're always having to take again detours at time. And how do we react to it? How do we live it out? How are we living our faith? We don't like waiting. In many ways, as I see over the years, we don't like Advent. Let's just rush right on to Christmas. Let's get right into, the, again, the holiday season. Not the holy season, but the holiday times. Got things to get done, activities to do. But we know detours come in life. But sometimes we choose the detours. And the other sign is danger, wrong way, turn back. The people of Israel had turned the wrong way. They had turned away from God. And we know we need a Savior in our life. We know we need Jesus Christ as we gather here in prayer right here, right now. Because at times in my life, because of sin, I turn the wrong way. I want to go my way in life. I want to do it my way. I got the right direction in life. Even if we turn on the GPS at times, might not even be faithfully listening to, and I can still go by a road I was supposed to turn on because it wasn't paying attention. And when we're going the wrong way with God, we're not paying attention to God. And Advent calls us to wait. Now is that time to do that. Not tomorrow, not next week, now. Because Advent is such a short season. And even in the pandemic time, there's so many things going on. People are even out shopping. And the other day, I got run over by a shopping cart because someone was so in a hurry and had this big box sitting out. They were around to that corner. They were making their way, and I got stabbed by the box. So I said, okay, my shopping's done. We're going to wait until things calm down. But again, just to be up and say, people are in a hurry. We're out doing many things, but are we going the right way? Are we going God's way of life? And there's plenty of time in this pandemic time to say, you know, we have to shut down. We don't have to shut down God. We can take time to pray and to read and to learn to make sure we're going the right way with God. Now is that time, right now, because then we can truly be aware of God's presence and God's way of life. But yet as we go about life, often at times, as it said in the prophet Isaiah, what happened to them is, Lord, our hearts are hard. We harden to our own ways. Another image of Advent. Again, to be like this rock, our hearts can be so hard. Again, we've been hurt by life, issues in life, not just the pandemic, but other things in life. God hasn't answered our prayers. God hasn't been present to way we like. And our hearts become hardened to the ways of faith. And so Isaiah is praying again that their hearts be open to the blessings that God wants to bestow upon them. So not a rock heart in Advent. Pray for a sponge heart. One that can absorb the graces and blessings that God wants to bestow upon us. Many blessings. God wants to come to us. And may our hearts be like a sponge and absorb those blessings. Take in those blessings. Where our hearts are hard, may we pray, Lord, sin has gotten in the way. Things have gotten in the way of my life. I need again to be changed. I need to be reconciled, made whole again. And God's ready to send us those blessings in this holy season. So pray, grab a sponge this week and hold it in prayer. Say, Lord, may my heart be open. May I receive those blessings that you want to bestow upon me. So many blessings God wants to give us. But if we're hard in our hearts, if we're angry about life, hurting about life, doubting about life, know it's a new beginning. God wants to come to us to do in new ways in this Advent time. Pray for that day. Pray to receive it. Let your hearts be open. Let it be like that sponge to absorb again those great blessings in life. So pray with these things. 
And one more image that the prophet Isaiah gives us is the image of the clay. And so we pray, Lord, man, be in our lives. Let God take that. We have some clay or clay or clay. Take it to prayer. Let God pour us. God wants to act for that. So often, like, God, I can do it on my own. I can change. I got these bad habits. I'll just do it by myself. I know what you're going to do. I know I can let them all go. No, we need one another. And we need God to help us. Again, on that journey of faith, it's never again. We're just out there alone. God is forming us. Isaiah prayed, God, ran to heaven. Come down to us. Let God hold you in his hands. Let Christ come to you with those blessings. Let the Spirit of God be with you to form you, to mold you, to say, Lord, again in my life, I need to change this so I have more time to pray, more time to read Scripture, to turn things off and like say, I'm going to let those things go in life in that way. Because again, we're finding out that people have used this pandemic time for things like Netflix or other things, but then we use them also to look up things for God so that God can form us and mold us in that God's love, God's compassion, God's way of life. God, form that. Again, I just need to be stretched and molded in a new way because this holy season has now begun. We set out on this Advent journey together. We're praying for one another. I want each and every one of you to have a blessed Advent so you're going the right way with God. So your hearts are like that sponge to absorb all those blessings so that you're allowing God to mold you in new ways because our world needs it more than ever. Our families need it. Our communities need it. People of faith, we all need to be that. Allow God to form you and then be ready for the gifts and the blessings that will truly come your way. Surprise blessings, new blessings that truly will be present in your life as we journey together in this whole season.
be an opportunity to reconnect and discover the salvation only Jesus can give through the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from COVID-19, that they may know the tender, compassionate presence of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the courage to create a space in our lives to watch, wait, and listen, giving ample time and energy to the task of truly celebrating God's humble birth and preparing for the Lord's return in time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a renewed commitment to life during this Advent, that we may always protect life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that God will sustain them and speed their healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Red McKinney and deceased members of the Bradley family, that they may now know how, how faithful God has been in their lives and experience the joy of salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we conclude our prayers of the faithful now by lighting of the first Advent candle. May that light of Christ continue to shine bright week after week in your lives in this world. Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Savior of every nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as we light the candles of this reed. May the reed and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us
And when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your truth, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things. You teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's do now again next weekend for Ivanhoe and Willow will be switching masses, so we'll, uh, I don't know, will be on. Sunday morning at 10 and we'll know be on the Saturday. So please note that for next week and for the month of December. We will continue with our changes along the way. Also note we're putting together some reconciliation services, hopefully for the 13th and the 20th. And we also have a Christmas mass schedule that will further get out to people that, that way we're working very hard on how we can do that safely, especially for Christmas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
and bow your heads and pray for God's blessing and to remain to each of the other. May Almighty, the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and your first coming again sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's heaven, and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace this Advent season. The Mass is in. Amen. Great evening. And our closing hymn during the Holy Communion as you leave church is number 324, The King Shall Come. 324.